Once again, Dale Julen in for Bryn Whitaker, who, is, as you see, is out covering the CAL FIRE uh, briefing for the two fires burning in our area. Let's go right now to, once again, to Preston Fouts, the CAL FIRE spokesperson. All right. Then we'll work on lunches and, uh, and uh, dinner feeding, and we'll, we'll go from there. And uh, any questions? Don't expect it, but logistics, other logistics like fuel and stuff, we'll just do what we did on our travel plan. Yeah, that, that plan is still in the works. As soon as uh, I get the details, I'll uh, pass them on to you guys. But uh, my hope is that we, I got ordered a two couple of uh, CWN water tenders, uh, and then I would like to get the agency stuff down and get them ready for uh, more IA potential, and then we'll at least have the two CWNs if, if needed. So. But uh, we should have plenty of water. That shouldn't be an issue. Okay. We know you guys have been on the road during the night. I'm uh, Mike Benitez. This is uh, my fire district and fire chief. Uh, again, just want to thank everybody for coming in. Um, we'll get you guys some coffee. I know you've been on the road, so we've got a couple of those big Starbucks things coming. So maybe the strike teams can, once everybody gets some place, get it out and get everybody a little bit of coffee. Uh, we've left all the hose in so you don't take anything off your engine. Uh, if you do take anything off your engine, just document 213 and we'll get it replenished before you guys take off. Um, politically, everybody's very happy with the initial attack resources. We've got a couple damaged homes that you guys are probably not going to work on today. One house had about $50,000 worth of roof and uh, interior damage. And we had another one with a car, a pool house, and some roof. So uh, we'll get some of the type ones up there today and just work with those homeowners and make sure that's completely buttoned up. And uh, I will go out and uh, help get the engines to those two homes, make quick work of it. So before we pull stuff off, that we have an engine relief there so we're not leaving that house unattended uh, throughout the day. Uh, any other logistical need, I'll work with Bob. Uh, we have plenty of vendors. Fresh restrooms are down here. These stores will open up. Uh, again, we have plenty of ice and water and Gatorade. Uh, but you just let me know, and I'll make quick work of it. You know, I know uh, the, the units supporting the big fire in Carmel Valley, the Tassajara, so that's the precedent, that's the big fire, so this is, you know, 85% contained, so it's not high on the radar for that support, but I can make some things happen. My district will pick up the cost, so we're not going to burden the unit. So I want to take care of you folks, okay? I know you've been on the road. You're helping our residents. They'll take care of you, okay? I will give you uh, my uh, cell phone number, the strike team leaders, so you call me uh, if you need anything, okay? And one of the last thing, okay. I'm not sure I'm aware of the exact we location, were but we had a couple houses. listening to Preston Fouts, the CAL FIRE spokesman, and also, of course, uh, one of the directors of the operations out there uh, at the Lavrellos Fire, which is 85% contained, 100 acres burned. And as you heard there, uh, right now, we have the last report of two homes damaged, their roofs, that sort of thing. Um, not the, uh, the case of both, either of them being totally destroyed, but pretty badly destroyed or hurt. And so we'll get back to those fires a little later on.